Hello, everybody, and welcome to yet another fantastic Subpixel live stream. We've got a full house for you because we have quite a doozy of a presentation. We're going to be debating the weirdest cover art. Joining us first is Kyle Bailey. Are you ready? No. Got it. Uh, Will Crosby, are you ready for some spirited discussion? I have never been more prepared. Jake, I know you're the cover heart. Fuck it. <laughs> The cover artist. I was trying to say, like, how do I say Jake jerks off to cover art, but in a fancy mm. way? Well, it's uh, it's unfortunate because I had had a yes and locked and loaded. <laughs> well, let's just um, you know what? Let's just kick it off. Um, we are going to be debating the weirdest cover art. Um, something that I did not clarify until this morning and threw off at least one of our contestants is its weirdest video game cover art that has been published. So some games will have multiple copies, game of the year, remake, remaster, reboot, etc. It has to be a cover art, published cover art for at least, has to, has to have been on a shelf, digital or, or, or real at some point. Um, so let's, uh, let's go ahead and kick it off, Kyle. I'm gonna, we're just gonna do presentation order, so we'll just do, uh, Kyle first. Um, okay. so let's get this lined up. Uh, Zach, thanks for joining, thanks for the sub. Um... Okay, let's see. Give me something Sorry, to click I, on. I plugged the us on the discords. I feel like we're a little quiet because we, we actually had a spirited, uh, several minute discussion about how the intricacies of this topic in terms of difficulties will will you said you were finding it difficult to be funny period <laughs> i mean i just period no mm -hmm. i just i feel like the other ones like lent themselves to being funny not i mean more easily because like with the ugliest nintendo character you could just like make jokes and stuff like that but when it comes to like the cover art i was like oh what do i make fun of because it's not worst so you can't just be degrading immediately it's like weirdest, so you kind of have to go in a sort of absurdist direction, which is that's true. What I did, that's true. Um, Sorry, give me one second, Jake. I, I I don't want you to spoil your presentation, but I've heard that it's a themed presentation and that you really enjoyed it. Yes, and it features not one but two photographs of former President George H. W. Bush. I'm a 45 man myself, but I'll allow it. Um, why Kyle, sweet. can we can we get your camera and your PowerPoint? Yeah, I'm trying. You can just open another OBS Ninja tab. Yeah, should let should work. Yeah, I think I for had me, to delete the picture of. Oh, sorry. Can you do Can you do that? Yes. That uh, work? Let me get that set up. I think for me, I, I was talking about how I just I'm worried about this debate because I feel like. I found so many good nominees and I feel like we're all going to present fantastic nominees and that's going to make the debate very hard indeed. <laughs> um, but let's, uh, I think we are ready to go. Kyle, okay. take it away. All right. Um, yes. Well, let me just, I hope this, I hope this transition stuff works because I worked not very hard on it. Um, okay. Okay. <laughs> uh so I, I gotta i gotta get into into character give me give me a second hello everyone hello welcome welcome to the umbrella fish worldwide developers conference <laughs> it is amazing to see so few people here this year truly it is an honor to be sitting in my office doing this at home Oh, God. I hope that works. All right. We come here to answer this question. What is weird? Umbrella Fish isn't like any other company out there. Sure, we have our detractors and several, several hundred high-powered lawyers sending us cease and desist letters on a daily basis from some of the big guys around town. But fundamentally, we're unique in every facet of our existence which is why we are where we are today, giving a PowerPoint presentation to three people on the internet. Yeah. If that doesn't speak volumes, I don't know what does. But I'd like to talk about what's actually on the PowerPoint slide right now. Here at Umbrella Fish, we ask this question, we ask this question to ourselves before we start each day. What is weird? And it's an, it's an interesting question to be sure. So let's start somewhere no one ever does. 
Webster's Dictionary defines weird, which is great for them, that they can just do that. But we wanted to do more than just define something. We wanted to expand what it means to exist within that word in our corporeal reality. So we've got some truly weird things to show you today, and we think you're really going to love them. Let's start with our process. Our process is what motivates us to continue to develop and create all the weird things that Umbrella Fish makes, which, as you all know, is exclusively mid-1980s to late-1990s video game cover art. We will always be the same Umbrella Fish you've come to know and love over the years, and it's because of the following process. Each day, each of our employees get up, gets up, comes into work, starting around 9 p.m. to 4 a.m. Once we arrive there, we all smoke a massive mound of peyote, followed up exclusively by a blend of our signature magic mushroom haagen strawberry milkshakes. And that's it. That's the process. It's safe, it's legal, and it's definitely legal. <laughs> As you know, we are revealing three new products today, which is the most we've ever created in a 20-year period. I think that's something worth celebrating. Am I crazy? Am I crazy? Mm. Yeah. Let's begin with our first product, which I think you're all really going to love. It's a follow-up to another beloved product of ours from way back in 1983. Now, our team has worked so incredibly hard on this one, and I'd like to show it to you now. That's right. We did it. Chucky Egg 2. It's oh a my god. <laughs> oh. oh my god. It's a <laughs> it's a loving addition to our the whole Chucky Egg product line. Oh. This, this 1985 sequel is a stunning follow-up to the game that preceded it several years prior. Featuring Chucky and all your favorite characters like Weird Spider, Green Poles, and the newest addition to the franchise, Egg 2. You'll be able to see the cover art in your local video game store soon, and we think you're really going to love it. That's disgusting. So what could we possibly follow that up with? That's the question right there. How do you top Chucky Egg 2? And is it even possible? <laughs> our, our team pondered the same. Our team pondered the same thing between sips of our totally legal milkshakes. And then something occurred to us. We could just we could just make something, something new, something fresh, something that wasn't really inspired by anything and yet was inspired by everything all at once. I'd like to introduce you to the most original thing we think we've ever come up with so far. Oh. Oh. We did it again for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> Druid, Demons of the Mind is an all-new action-packed video game cover that will knock the socks off your grandma, featuring a miniature version, version of Dwayne the Rock Johnson that we created inside of an actual fisheye camera lens. This cover art just oozes mystery. Is he standing in Stonehenge? Maybe. I can't remember if that's what we decided. He's holding an axe that is at the same time, it's too small and too large to do any real damage. And it's opposite a fist that looks like it could easily blow through a bank oh. vault door. This cover art is the, es the essence of weird. And we think you're going to love it. How do, you, how do you end a run this good? Like the one we've had the past 50 years. As good as Chucky Egg 2 is, and as incredible as Druid, Damons of the Mind isn't. We've unfortunately arrived at the end of our presentation. I'd like to thank you all for coming and experiencing what we have to offer. Uh, but one more thing. <laughs> There's just one more thing I'd like to show you. Products like these don't come along just every day. It's oh, true. No. We live in an era of innovation, of fast-paced fast upgrades and low-quality life. We didn't want to just go with the flow. We wanted something that stands out, something that can't be stopped. Something that we can repeat upon every other year for the foreseeable future. Something that stands out. Something that can't be stopped. Something that's repeatable. 
stands out, can't be stopped, repeatable. Do you see what I'm doing here? These aren't three different products. They're the same product. I'd like to introduce you to Metrocross. <laughs> skateboarding like you've never seen it before. Metrocross is the most advanced skateboarding video game cover art in the history of the world. We found this new piece of software called Photoshop recently, and well, you can see for yourself just how much a difference is made <laughs> in our abilities. Tony Hawk doesn't have anything on this, from the weirdly tight one-piece spandex suit to the knee and elbow pads to the expression on the skater's face that screams, I'm cool, you just don't know it yet. To the chessboard background, which absolutely screams skateboarding. This cover art is truly unstoppable. We think you're going to love it. Thank you all so much for being here. Um, this is, you know, Umbrella Fish's latest WWDC, and we really hope you enjoyed it. So thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, everybody. No questions. Thank you. I think that skateboarder was getting topped by Chuck Yegg. <laughs> It's, that, it's hard to it's hard to beat Chucky. Is that Thomas Middleditch? <laughs> <laughs> I think so. It really look that, like that him. guy did uh, kind of look like Tony Hawk though. Yeah, <laughs> the, a little bit, a little bit. The Lucha in the chat said, "Good pick of Ian," and I lost. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was good. I really like that theme. It's a real good theme. Uh, next up, oh, Wilbur's good. Crispers. Okay, yeah, I have to go seconds. last again. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I kind of forgot the the order from last time, so we'll just go in. Alphabetical. Oh, okay. oh, I gotta start mm. first, don't I? This is gonna be tough. I, I, something I didn't realize, but was, it, it should be completely obvious, is how off-putting some of these cover arts are gonna be. Like those, <laughs> those first two, I was just that, like, oh, I don't want to look at this anymore. <laughs> that ch Chucky egg was disgusting. <laughs> and it was a sequel. It's a sequel. <sighs> That the mouth was so close to oh, the crotch. Goodness. Oh, that's disgusting. Is that working, Ian? Uh, yeah, two seconds. I'll get this. Is this link your up. presentation? So far. Uh, <laughs> um. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are good to go. Thank you, stranger. Oh, uh, thanks, Mike, for the subscription. That's not Mike. Every okay. Look, David's username is Mizuki, and every time I look at it quickly, it looks like Mike. So thank you, Wazowski. <laughs> Mike Wazowski. Um, hi, everyone. Uh, Actually, it was Halucha. I'm my... sorry. Interrupt. Thank you, stranger. Halucha gifts subs, and then our subscriber follow pops the person who receives it. So actually, thank you. <clears throat> oh. Weird art for perverts. <laughs> <laughs> By Will Crosby and Darth Vader. You got Darth Vader in on this? That's crazy. He's very instrumental. <sighs> Does anyone know where this is? Germany. So somewhere in Europe. Copenhagen. Oxford Di English Dictionary. <laughs> <laughs> Defines weird. It's very strange or unusual and difficult to explain a weird dream. She's a really weird girl. <laughs> He's got some weird ideas. It's really weird seeing yourself on television. The weird and wonderful creatures that live beneath the sea. These are terrible example sentences. <laughs> yes. That's why I usually go with Webster's, but I made the joke last time. Mm. Number one. Arrow of death. For the, I don't know if it's pronounced VIC20 or VIC20, but it's for the VIC20. Here are some screenshots. I figured the exciting cover art you're going to see should be shown some of the gameplay that you could enjoy by playing this game. Play old game? Question mark. <laughs> These are two business boys. Hey John, did you finish that cover art for our new game? <laughs> Of course I did. I hired the professionals at the local Dungeons and Dragons Guild Hall. Actually, the email is coming in right now. Let's have a look. What year was this? Bloop. Uh, this I did not write the year. 2018. Down, so it says 20... right there. <laughs> it's 2018. Yes, 2018. Here it is. 
Arrow of Death. That's the cover. That is the, the that's the published cover art. Oh my gosh! <laughs> 1981. That's incredible. Oh, I love it. <laughs> so good. It's only for the Vic 20 version, but that's it incredible. Came on a cassette. <laughs> oh, shut it down. We got a winner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> moving on. Number two. Hey, look, our business boys. They're back. <laughs> Hey, John, I'm excited for that new Blizzard game. John, me too. I hear they have respectful. I hear they have respectful two women robots. <laughs> <laughs> I totally wrote that line correctly. <laughs> Some more screenshots. A reminder of the male species. A <laughs> container of sex chromosome pulp. Oh, my God. Sexy oh, police oh robot gosh. woman. Good Lord. AD 2044. Oh boy. Is that made in Blender? I wish. Um, I would say my favorite thing is sexy cop lady in the background. <laughs> yeah. Coming for sexy AD 2044. I don't know. I really like the, the fence background. It really <laughs> adds to the whole piece. Are they breaking out or breaking in? <laughs> That's the tagline. Are they supposed to be like I, I wrote for them. like sex robots or are they action figures? I can't. I don't know, but we'll, they have. We'll find bolts. out in 23 years. How are they getting, are they getting <laughs> they away with that on, on the, their nipples? That's our, how are they getting away with that on the cover art? That's crazy. She's not, it's not human. It's robots. They're robot. fake. They're fake. Do you think this is an but adult? They still only needed game? to put the robot in a shiny leotard. <laughs> From the screenshots, I could see there was no pornography. Just have to play it. Hey, look, it's our business boys again. Hey, John, you ever feel like making two different animals have sex? Boy, you should see me at dinner time. <laughs> oh my God. Fin Fin on Tio, the magic planet. <laughs> what? Do y'all know what happens when you take a sexy, horny dolphin and put a parrot inside of it? You get Echo or whatever. Echo meets Monkey Island. Me fin Fin. <laughs> what the oh, heck wow. is that? Finfin fin is a magical dolphin parrot that lives on your desktop. You don't even have to feed him. He's a Tamagotchi you can't die. You just run the program and he flies around and eats oh. food. Oh. Finfin. Fin. Thank you. <laughs> That's good. Oh shoot, it's my turn. Um Okay, let me get let me get this up and going, and let me go to here and here. Um, friendly reminder: I'm going to be doing this through a Discord. How dare you friendly remind us? Um, just going to do the screen. Kyle, what was the name of the first game you showed? I'm trying to make a list of my favorites. <laughs> Chucky Egg 2. <laughs> Thank you. Who with wants a, with the a, top Chucky Egg With two? an I, I E, not a Y. Uh, um, I want to remember these. I want to remember them forever. Okay, you guys should be seeing a white screen. Yes, I do. Yes. Okay. Let's, Where is this? It's in Discord. Discord. Ooh. I'm watching the stream. Okay, let me just get chat back up. Okay, here we go. The weirdest cover art. <laughs> Jeez. Oh my gosh. This is this like Kitty Land? I love these transitions. This what is, is weird? Google defines weird as a strange <laughs> or extraordinary character, but also of or relating to to caused by witchcraft or the supernatural. But those aren't good examples. Let me show you some things that are weird to get you in the right frame of mind. Goth dogs. <laughs> Sonic fan base. Inverted camera controls. A men's side thong. A six-wheel Formula One car. And white people. 
<laughs> All these things are weird. Which brings me to... The transitions are so long. Nominee number one. <laughs> Terror from across the pond. We need to talk about... Steggers part oh of Oh my ways. god. <laughs> you can't say that. That sounds. <laughs> it sounds so close to like twelve different racial slurs. I know, it's awful. That sounds like a bad word. I want to be clear. <laughs> Chegger. <laughs> Who is this man? Who is he? The answer is he's Keith Chegwin. He's, he's hey. not Chegger. Who is? I don't think this through. <laughs> he just looks like Colin Mokery to me. He's the ugliest man I've ever seen. It's <laughs> just a good transition because I had another question. <laughs> does he really look like that? And the answer is, yeah, he kind of does. He kind of does look like a thumb with a face. And, oh, uh, like from Spy Kids. <laughs> who's... Um, <laughs> Mom is an ugly British woman and whose dad was a fat cherub. Um, finally, look into his eyes. He will oh devour your soul. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Chegger's party quiz. <laughs> the eyes are like, they're, they're each, the eyeline is off. It's so, yeah. it's just. The it's, inclusion of the light is so good. I'm sorry, I have we to. Have to we have to. I have to go backwards real quick because the eyes almost look like they they just cut out his real eyes. It's it's one of those like like weird amalgamation of reality and illustration. Anyways, I'm sorry. Nominee number two. We need to talk about oh. the skinny ass gobbler. This is a game we all know and love, but I found some weird cover art for it for the Atari. Yeah. It's Pac Man. This is. Okay, look, this th this cover art is very weird for several reasons, and I think it's because of how much it is telling you about the backstory of Pac-Man that you did not know. So let's take a closer look. <laughs> Number one, his age. Pac-Man apparently is a gangly teenager with arms and legs and a torso and just a very messed up head. And a uh, shirt of his, his own head. Perfect transition. Personality. He's clearly a narcissist with self-branded apparel. <laughs> Also, um, the setting of Pac-Man apparently is 80s paranormal drug castle, uh, where you just kind of run around escaping these ghosts, uh, eating uh, power pellets, which look like drug pies. Um, and finally, we need to talk about it. This cover art... Consent. Look at those <laughs> ghosts. They don't respect it. I don't want to know what they are trying to do to Pac-Man when they catch him. Why are their tongues out? Sweating. I, it's, I, this is so disturbing to me because it's not some weird game. It's Pac-Man and somebody decided to add all of this world building behind it. And it's I want to know the creative decision behind the ghosts having feet. Oh, that's a good point, too. Wiki feet. This is just, I guess they're like, if Pac-Man has feet, then the ghosts have to have feet. He, he looks like the guy from uh, Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. Yes. A little bit. What's his mm -hmm. name? Wilt? Blue. Foster. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about another long built-in transition in this template. Nominee number three. I'm calling this good enough. Ship it. Prepare your eyes, folks, for the minimum effort. It's Carnage Rally. Oh my god. Look, what is We need to now talk that's, about is that That's ninja? a real person. And they've huge shifted his hair and his eyebrows. And we are on the same wavelength. Uh, we need to talk about this person because, well, first of all, let's back up. The other two cover arts, they're very weird. They're very unsettling, but I could not have done this. This art I could have done. This is clearly somebody you know who has been hue shifted and they just put like a little blush rouge on him and then the cut him cut out. out. Yeah. It's the... so bad. <laughs> then they the just found twice. a generic picture of a car or a cartoon of a car and then just blurred it 
<laughs> in a direction. And then they did a, a Google search for a gold 3D uh, letters Photoshop tutorial and just did that with some flags on top. Um, look, I, I, I've been in software development for uh, seven years now. And uh, one year of that was in game development. And this is this is a very good overview of the entire pipeline process. You know, planning, pre-production, production, testing, pre-launch, launch, post-production. And I can tell you with like 99% certainty when this cover art was made. Right here, master release. When they went, <laughs> oh shit, we need cover art. And um, I think there's, there's a couple reasons why this cover art looks like this. And again, these are all guesses, but I'm feeling very confident here. Number one, they put it off until the last minute and they just had to throw it together. Number two, some executive or creative director or investor wanted to be, quote, in the game. And that's why you see some idiot on the cover. You know, they probably saw Max Payne and one of the developers who basically was Max Payne. And they thought, oh, it should be me. I'm putting enough money into this studio. Uh, the budget for marketing and graphics was way too low. Whoever they are paying to do this is not very good. And or uh, they went to an external uh, studio for marketing and they came back with an insanely high quote and they said, we can do it ourselves. And this is what it came up with, which is kind of just the general answer, which is they just gave up and they shipped it with <laughs> this. You know, by the time they got to master release and they needed a cover art, they probably realized their game was trash anyways. And they just needed to release it. Um, just look at it like... This is so weird to me because when I saw this, I literally had to Google for five, ten minutes to verify that this was a released game with this cover art. And it also, is. Why does why does he have two black eyes? I don't know. I guess he's supposed to have like crashed out or been run over. <laughs> I just, the carnage, man. <laughs> I don't understand how how it came out in this state. This is like a rough, rough concept art draft, and they just shipped it. It's insane. So to recap, these are my three nominees for weirdest cover art. Checkers Party <laughs> Quiz, Pac-Man, and Carnage Rally. Just weird in so many different ways. And each just so unsettling in their own right. I, I just realized we've been in kitty land for the past 21 pages. <laughs> That's right. Thank I you. Wanna know what, I want to know what that studio light is covering up. It's to let the the viewer or the person looking at it on the shelf, they know that then it takes place in a film studio. Mm. Otherwise, how would we know? Yeah. Just oh, a, lot weird, a lot of weird uh, stuff, man. Stomach hurts. Before I pull mine up, just as an aside before I forget, we should do on some other stream, we take one of these cover arts like like Carnage Rally, and we all try to recreate it in Photoshop in <laughs> more or less. That's a pretty good idea. That's a game show round. <laughs> yeah, that's a great idea. I think I, I hope you guys are starting to see that we have a lot of strong nominees. And this, yeah. this is going to take a while. Remember, we just have to get to top three. That was so ugly. <laughs> Shakers. <laughs> ah! Oh my goodness. Uh, no okay. audio source was detected. Sorry. <laughs> Kel, can you not see me anymore? No, your screen is no. black. You have to open a new tab of OBS Ninja. I did. Am I bad? I just, I just did the oh, second, one second share thing at the bottom, secondary stream. Oh. And then you can just share your screen from there. Oh, I see. Well, now I have to load myself back in. He's coming back. <clears throat> oh. It's just me and Will on stream. What are we going to do? Uh, uh, wait, high five me. You're above me. Uh, I'm to the right of you, it looks like. Not on the stream, you aren't. Uh, eh, eh, eh. Wow, I can feel you. Oh, power. yes. <laughs> There you go. I did it. Nailed it. I didn't realize you could do that. I was always opening a second tab. Like no, the there's the, it's it's right next to the camera icon. It's pretty sweet. Is that Ami supposed to be me good? Me god. Oh my god. But oh now god. we're ruining the bit because the audience can't see it. <laughs> oh, sorry. I apologize, audience. Please unhear everything. It's because I did a I did a pun <laughs> as the title of the last one. It was Nintendo. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> um, 
And so I needed to do another uh, pun. Sorry, it's not it's not displayed yet. Um I know. Just I know. just a heads up, I may have to step away for a little bit in the middle of your presentation. It'll be up. <gasps> just keep going, y'all. Keep the stream going, okay? <gasps> wow. <sighs> Selling stuff on Facebook is sometimes a nightmare. Mm. <clears throat> yeah, you gotta get rid of those cats somehow. I'm gonna eat them. I was gonna make a joke about Ian selling himself, but I couldn't come up with anything. I mean, that's kind cogent. of a joke. What do you think I should charge? Nobody though? would buy Ian. Like honestly, <laughs> two hundred for hand stuff. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> like, like a back massage? Yeah, two hundred for a back massage. Will a high five? <laughs> all right, gentlemen. I believe oh, we are. Good well, then to go. call me someone who loves hand stuff. I love a good <laughs> high five. <laughs> Am I? I'm up. I'm yeah, looking at the good. screen, but an ad is running. Okay. Yeah, you're good. Okay. My presentation is called "Oh my God, that cover art is wild," <laughs> or "Graphic design is my passion." <laughs> graphic design so, is a design. terrible name. Design. It's a terrible design. name for like a like an artist zine. <laughs> I love it. Design. So. This is not my first inclusion. I just want to set the stage for you. So, in the late 80s, Mindscape released a game called Paperboy. And it was so successful that several years later, they released a sequel. Allow me to set the stage for you. The year is 1991. Terminator 2 Judgment Day is atop the box office. The Gulf War is winding down. And Paperboy 2 has just been released. That's... He's back with an all new route. Oh, this gosh. One's just... How are you? Not... You just saw it? Yeah, it's at least for me, it's like lagging. Yeah, there's some down. weird delay. Uh, let's just pause real quick because the stream is still on Gulf War. I'm going to refresh mm. it real quick. Gulf War. That's the that's the cover art. That is just Bush and all his advisors. <laughs> um. Okay, I think that's we're a nice good. Bush. We're back. We're yeah. synced. Yeah. It's good. Okay. Going. Paperboy two. It's you know, <laughs> it seems like the most straightforward bit. So let's take a take it back a couple years to 1989. Batman is atop the box office. George H.W. Bush is trying to distance himself from the Iran-Contra affair. <laughs> and a new game is being developed by the Bitmap Brothers. I wanted to do... I want you to see this. Can you see the, um, the game art? Not yet. Not, Not yet. yet. Uh, well, let me know Waiting when you see it. with bated breath. And... Um, are you still just looking at George there Bush? There it is. I see, I see the game screenshots. Yes, this is the screenshots. I want you to visualize something in your mind before I flip to the box art. Do you have an image in your head of what you think the box art is going to look like? Yes. Okay. Well, yes. now I, let me know when you see it. The game is Xenon 2 Mega Blast, if that paints a picture in your mind. By the Bitmap wait. Brothers. I know, this is weird. It's ruining the comic timing. <laughs> Whoa! What? What is that? Music Ian, by... Unmuted, by the way. Music by Bomb Bass? <laughs> I had a very good joke, which was, we have to disqualify this. That's actually the cover art for Cruelty Squad. <laughs> no, I, I confirmed, because this, too, felt to me like a fake that's crazy like yeah i can't even i don't i just i can't rationalize in my <laughs> mind the design process behind this what we need a fish we need a it's like a tash we need a horseshoe crab in the upper in the corner there we need a is that a scorpion it, it's a, a lot to, it's a lot to unpack <clears throat> And because it's like they designed this logo and 
I but love it. then the rest of the box, I love it too. And this is the sequel to the Disney movie. <laughs> yes, accurate. This is the movie tie-in. Um, <laughs> okay, that's Xenon Two Mega Blast. So I'm just gonna skip. Uh, we're now skipping ahead several years um, to 1996. Um, anybody know what was atop the box office in 1996? Toy Soldiers. Incorrect. That was 1999. Um, 96 would have been... It'll show up at some point. Called Independence Day. Day. I, yeah. yeah. Nailed it. I, I didn't just see got it, it right, right before it showed up. Came up. <laughs> yeah. Um, this is a bad movie. America is what? reeling. Excuse me. That's a very... That's, that's the movie no, knows what movie. it is. I just want to see who second, I riled up. second one sucks. <laughs> America is reeling from the Congressional Post Office scandal. Oh, oh yeah. And a small Ooh. developer is designing a game with an incomprehensible title. Let me know when you can see the screenshots so you can once again begin forming a picture in your mind <laughs> of what the box art for this game. Man, it's... it's I... Okay. Okay. You're like bringing us through a mind journey. Oh, I see the screenshots on the stream, but not no VS Ninja. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what? <laughs> There's a very weird delay. Oh, but the stream so can see them, so we can... It's, it's not even on my stream. That's really weird. Okay, now I can see it on the stream. This, game looks um, <laughs> this is weird. Looks like Zool. Well, I will just skip ahead to the next slide anyway. It's a game, I think, called Lauka Glow. But it's got like weird, there's weird garbage in the characters, so I'm not sure if it's supposed to denote an alternate pronunciation or not. A 1996 game from a company called LK Avalon. And the box art, this is my top pick for a weirdest box art whenever it might show up in your feeds. Okay, I just got it on OBS Ninja, the screenshots. Oh, good. This is ominous. It's like, <laughs> when's it going to happen? When are you going to see it? What language is that? Oh, I boy. Don't know. Oh, my oh, gosh. God. Wow. Is that, that font. Is that a person's oh. head or is that just another monster's head next to them? There's a lot of questions. Look at those tusks. Why is his tail so disproportionate to his body? He looks like he should meet up with Egg Chucky Egg. <laughs> If there oh were a Chuck E. Egg, Lauka Glow crossover. There we go. And there's a weird spider crocodile thing. Mm -hmm. I'm loving the foliage, though. I mean, That's really. my presentation. Also, I don't yeah. have another slide. <laughs> that's also, good. Also, straight up blood on the cover. That's, that's hardcore. Yeah. That's bold. Yeah. I was trying to... Out. I kept turning around because I, I have a Bitmap Brothers book. Um... <clears throat> And you wanted to see if they place. talk about Xenon 2 Mega Blast? Yeah. <laughs> I think it's in the other room. I'm going to go check it. <clears throat> I, forget, I forget the name of the publisher who puts those books out, but they're very good. Um, okay, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to show my screen. And uh, give me a second. Just I need each of you to um, send me a URL for your images, because as we're discussing this, I think we want to easily bring them up to look at. Uh, can I just put them in the Discord chat? Yeah, actually, yeah, you I can just put the image in the Discord well. chat. Okay. I can grab the, the URL from that. Um, <clears throat> I need to find that folder again. I know. I'm very organized, as you can tell. There we go. I was gonna do a pal, or I was gonna do runners up. Uh, at oh, the I end have of a lot of honorable mentions. I was afraid I might accidentally show someone else's, so I, I didn't do it. <laughs> Even though now that I think about it, it would have been astronomically probably impossible. There's, there's so that, many. But... So the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to share my screen so that you guys can kind of follow along with the list in a way. Okay. Instead of having to watch the stream specifically. I, I do have an honorable that. mention that I, I definitely wanted to show to Ian because I thought you'd appreciate it. 
Oh man, the the sp- did anyone see the splitting image or spitting image one? No. Oh, that was, I so I, I don't know if you guys follow cool box art on Twitter. Um, no, I do that's not. Where, that's where I got a lot of these from. Is I just download them after they post them. But the, he does a lot of advertisements and stuff. Uh, it's I highly recommend the follow if you like cover art. Um, and so- I posted uh, the box art for a game called 688 Attack Sub, which seems like it might be up your alley. Yeah, let's uh, let's let's show that to the. That's this, dope. Is, this is a good test to show people. Oh yeah, you can sh- you can show my, one of my runners up too. Oh, of course, it didn't pop properly send. Yeah, so that's six eight eight attacks up. I I like that. That's pretty cool looking. You guys can see that, right? I can yes. See it. Where are we looking? Just if Discord. you go into Discord, he's streaming. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. Yeah. yeah so let me go, let me grab one of Will's runner ups. It was that at the file. I don't think load. It was a JFIF file. Yeah, I'm not. All right, so let's just um, let's let's kick into it. Um, I think we need to revisit Chucky Egg because <laughs> I I feel like well, actually, you know what? I'm sorry. Chucky Egg is strong. Is there anyone in here that people are they kind of want to talk about as they don't think is a strong contender? <clears throat> I'll fire first. <clears throat> Um, I'll bring it up here, but I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not too crazy about. This is a little painful, but. I'm not too crazy about paper. Play. Let's, let's I was going to, I mean, I was the same. That's why it was the first one in my, in my list. It's definitely the most kind of like milk toast of the three that I picked. And it's just, it's just got the goofy guy going yeah. for it. I think I think it's pretty funny though how you're right. Like I don't know if you were saying this intentionally or if this was just setting the scene, but it kind of does look like a desert storm type movie poster because the background <laughs> is like is like a is like a desert camo type thing. It's a product of its time. Yeah, it's That's just a, it's, a, it's a sequel to the water. Oh, it's a newspaper. I'm an yeah. Idiot. <laughs> it's. It's very interesting. I just he's I, back with an all new route. I think we've got too many strong contenders. Oh, that just says, "Look out! Look, look out! Um, he's gonna get you." Yeah, I, I, it doesn't. It, it's weird because it doesn't look like a video game poster, and I think that's that's what's detracting in my mind. Oh, there was a problem. Um, yeah, but it's not bad. Well, it is bad, but it, in a good way. Yeah. So I think we're going to strike it from the list. Okay. Get rid of it. I think I can double strike, can I? Okay. So um, what about anybody else have ones that they want to discuss? I think Carnage Rally is bad, but I don't think it's weird. Let me pull it up. It's I, I think if we were making a semantic distinction, I would perhaps agree because it's it's weirdness is explainable. Like, yeah. Ian, you kind of ex- you explained it all away in yeah. your presentation. It's all stuff that you're like, OK, yeah, I totally I totally can see why they made these bizarre creative decisions. Yeah, I think I think it, so, you could probably tell at the end of my presentation. I was stretching a little bit where I was like, it's weird because I wouldn't expect this to have made it all the way through the process, which is weird but it's not nearly as weird as some of this other stuff. Mm-hmm. Oh, I misspelled it. All right, so let's let's take that off the list. Carnage Rally. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, just going off of, like, Paperboy 2, I guess Metro Cross would sort of fit in there. I know that I suggested that one, but, like, it is basically just a Photoshop thing. Um, I don't know. It was kind of funky. I thought it was funny. I, it's, it's almost vapor wavy. Yes. Yeah, 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 definitely. Like you'd see it in a mall or something. I mean, I love it. And I think there's so much it's weirdness so in this man's facial expression. <laughs> you know, let me just I want a poster of it. <laughs> oh, it's right. stylish for <laughs> sure. I only now just noticed that the border and these diamonds are like a faux leopard print. 
Yeah, it yes. would be on like carpet in like a bowling alley or something. Yeah, I think like Kyle, you said like we just got this new cool thing called Photoshop. That that's basically what this is. Like, what can we do with it? Can we do yeah. like shapes with patterns on them and textures? <laughs> oh, yeah. here's like was were they is trying this... to call skateboarding Metrocross? Sorry to interrupt. No, 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 you're good. I guess. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Also, if it's skateboarding, why is there an image of a man running? Like, like I don't, yeah. I don't are you get hunting it. the skateboarders or hunting the runners <laughs> us <Man> gold. Hunt. <laughs> yeah that really i do does. love it though it really yeah. does look like my, thomas metal ditch though <laughs> my question <laughs> is is this skateboarder did they purchase like a stock photo from a modeling <laughs> agency or is this someone in the studio who posed specifically to be on this cover art i i'm gonna go with the in-between which is that they hired somebody to do this yeah hmm it's just it's so strange oh, i just now realized that the the border is like technically a picture of a road like oh. it looks like it's asphalt yeah because the bottom right has the stripes oh. yeah uh, that's weird, weird. that's right. that is weird, weird. <laughs> um i don't think the pac-man box art is weird enough okay one second let me pull it, it up it's weird but is it weird enough? I I think not not to fight super hard for this, but I think for me, what was very weird for it to me is that we all know Pac-Man. Pac-Man's very, very popular. And to have a Pac-Man cover art that introduces like so many questions and so much so much just so much new about Pac-Man. It's like, what? You know, the extended Pac-Man apocrypha. Yeah, it's it's like I did not think uh, a cover of Pac-Man would astound me and kind of confound me so much. You know, now, I don't know if this was up for debate, but technically that's a booklet cover. Not. Oh, it is. It's not the cover? Atari. Let me let me. <clears throat> Sorry. Yeah, what's that? Because I know it came out on the 2600. And it's like a that's a square and he. I only said that because there's creases on the edges where the where the uh, staples would be. Oh, I said like a strategy one guide one might be a cover if you go back. That second one, this second one? one on the first row. That that looks like a cover. Yeah, that might be a box. Yeah, yeah that looks for like the Atari four hundred eight hundred. Okay, we're good. Man. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I'm just looking through this list. Definitely weird. I, I'm a maybe on this one. I'm just going through them real quick to decide how much I want to fight. We for can cut then. AD twenty forty four. I was gonna I say AD twenty forty four. So let's, that funny. Let's it's just got that weird three D model the early three D modeling issue. Okay, let me let me pull it up before we um before we kill it. Exit. The weirdest thing about it is that the robot has nipples. <laughs> I don't know how they got away. I think you mean the best thing about it. It's crazy that they got away with that. Keeps me up at night. <laughs> um I I honestly I think this is weird, but the problem is there's so many just like this. This is just horny. It's like we were talking about uh, Kyle, you were talking about earlier with uh graphics cards. Um uh, box mm. art. That's there's too many horny future drawings for this time. They are weird. It looks like night. It looks like night long. Yeah, they, <laughs> they are absolutely weird. But because there's so many of them, it makes them less weird. Yeah. Yeah, I I think I'd be okay striking it. But man, is it Ugh. strike striking? <laughs> yeah. It's pretty wild. It is. Shall we? Yeah. Strike it. Okay. Arrow of Death, though. Oh, my gosh. I def definitely still thinking about that one. My my faves are Chucky Egg, obviously, Arrow of Death, and uh, Loco Glow. I definitely like all three of those. I do like Loco Glow. Okay, so let's... um, Cheggers, though. I mean, Cheggers... It's not weird enough for me. It's weird, but it, it, it has that vibe of, like... I'm... I'm Every thinking... Xbox 360 multiplayer party game. Yeah, it looks like the Jeopardy or the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, let me do this. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm gonna put um, seen it. I'm gonna put Chucky Egg, 
arrow of death and a uh, local glow on the screen. And then I think we're going to have to compare to those three because that sounds like a strong top three for now. <laughs> so let me there. I love that. It, it, so honestly, it looks it's like so baffling. Yeah, it's crazy. The the title on the tree trunk going up to the branch. Now I, I like don't. Someone was like, "We have to draw this right now." <laughs> I think okay, but I will say this though. I think I really like it, but for me, it just looks like somebody who's very. It's like a high schooler who's very good at drawing, and he drew this in their notebook. I was literally going to say it looks like a high schooler artist. Yeah. I'd say that that's the weirdest thing about it. Though. Yeah, yeah, that is for a video that, game. Like the other ones are all, all these other ones are very obviously from a professional <laughs> illustrator of some stripe. Yes. Using professional tools in a professional environment, but this one is just like a high school like high school deviant art account <laughs> has been slapped onto a real published video game. Yeah, it's but I, so bizarre. But I just mean like... And I will it, say, other versions of it have real cover art. Like, the VIC-20 version was the one they were like, oh, we need cover art. They were Someone on their way to the something. printer. Yeah. I, I just... What I meant by that was... It's kind of like... Um, it's kind of like Carnage Rally in a way. Where it's like... The weird fact is that it made it to production. Mm. But I don't think the image itself is that weird. I would agree with that. That that's kind of the only thing I have against Arrow of Death. I love the image, but I don't think the image itself is that weird. So let me bring up Loka I Glow. That. I love Loka Glow. I mean, I think it's kind of weird. This guy's holding a fire arrow up to a <laughs> a werewolf. Face. He's got a werewolf very face. He's also got a very tiny uh, uh, mace. What is it called? Ball and chain. Uh, mall. Mall. Yeah, I can't. Mall remember what sounds called. right. Yeah. What do we have? Do we have mall. Jim Wynorski's chopping mall. I mean, I honestly, I think Loka Glow and Chucky Egg Two go hand in hand. Yeah, those ones like, are fantastic. Like they're those cut are from good. the same cloth. Those are very good. I, I am. Um, I let's. I kind of want to just start from the top. I want to bring up Druid, Damons of the Mind, and I want to compare him to these three, because if it's not better than these three, then it gets cut right away. Mm. <laughs> and then we just go through the list like that. What do you guys think? Yeah, good with that. I, I wanted to make this showing the images process easier, but it would have required me to get, <laughs> get it beforehand from you guys, and I didn't want to do that. I wanted to be surprised, yeah. you know. I do <laughs> like this Humpty Dumpty Dwayne the Rock Johnson. <laughs> yeah. It's so weird. I'm pretty sure he's standing in Stonehenge. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Because it's like, because it, it says an action packed alien world combat game. I'm pretty sure. That's like how he gets to the alien world. And also it's... druids would be yes. stone. Yeah. I just like games on the spine. Yeah. 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 Games. So, yes. I <laughs> I do really like the the it's definitely weird the perspective thing. Yeah. I just think it's as just... soon as as soon as you look away from that, it's like, oh, it's it's not quite as <laughs> weird. A... Yeah. You know. Yeah. The perspective's the weirdest thing about it. Yeah, it's. I was gonna say it's weird for very specific reasons, whereas the other ones are weird for every reason. Just yeah. unexplainable. Yeah. So Unquantifiable. I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine slashing that. That's yeah. That's fine with me. As long was, as Chucky Egg stays, that's. Yeah. Chucky Egg stays. <laughs> so I, was, I was gonna say of these three, I think Arrow of Death is the weakest, and Arrow of Death is definitely weirder than this. Yeah, definitely. Okay. So let me get that. Is it weirder than Xenon 2 Mega Blast? <laughs> Let's uh we can jump ahead and, and talk about that one. Talk about Xenon 2 Mega Blast. Also oh. kind of an an unexplainable. I forgot how weird this one was. <laughs> it's so strange. Because it has nothing to do. I mean, that's a, a common thing of video games of this time is that the box art has nothing to do with the actual gameplay excuse me for a second but... i need to blow this baby the sweet but jesus <laughs> up. <laughs> appreciate all that detail all that jpeg artifacting god yeah it's it really it's it's like a work of art i would mm. love this it looks like the background was just stolen from dwarf fortress it's <laughs> 
you know, multiple images that were pulled from a very, very slow, very small internet connection and then compressed multiple times mm-hmm. over multiple artist sessions that then became this. It's so weird. Because, yeah, like you can, like Will was saying, you can definitely identify each of the individual elements. You've got your little mudfish. You've got some, like, weird, like, like trilobite type thing. You got your horseshoe crab. There's maybe, like, a squid above the Bitmap Brothers logo. Um, and then, yeah, that weird, like, spidery looking thing. It's fascinating. So I'm just pulling these two side by side because I think that's kind of the discussion right now. Between these two, which do we think is more weird? I'm that's biased. tough. That is tough. Oh, man. How, do you guys want to sit on it for a bit, and we can bring some others up? Yeah, I can. Really yeah, leave, leave leave Xenon too, just hanging. It on was Fin Fin. Yeah. I I really I think Fin Fin's a knockout, but uh, you guys didn't seem to respond as well as I do. But oh, I just think Fin Fin is just. Dis- like why would I think Finfin? Fin, why would you even make a game with that creature? It's disgusting. Wait, let me pull it up. I show us Finfin. Fin. I think Finfin Fin is like it's it's weird, but then you kind of get over it pretty quickly. And the co- the rest of the cover art is not that weird. Even even the different poses are not <clears throat> uniquely weird. I feel like. It was the same thing that we were talking about before where it was like the druid thing where it was like it was weird because of the perspective. This is weird because Finfin Fin is weird. But like yeah. I don't know. I guess I don't know if it's and weird speaks and four enough. languages. And, and on, speaks four languages. Yeah, and, and honestly, I don't even think it's that it's weird looking. I think it's just a weird idea of like what did you say? Like an owl lizard dolphin thing? Like that's a weird yeah. idea. But it doesn't look and nearly as weird as it should. It's just pet software. Like you don't, you can interact, but you just, it's like you're meant to put it on your desktop and just have it there. Yeah. And you know, what? I'm just going to uh, say it, but that, that logo, Finfin Fin logo, that's not weird. That fucking rips. I like that, that font. And also, 100 year olds cannot play this game. Yeah, I just saw that. That's true. That's true. It's the same with Lego. I think once you turn 100, that's yeah. the cutoff. Finfin. Fin. They cut off your hands. Great pick, but I think we have to say bye bye. Yeah, bye, bye Finfin. Fin. Rip. Rip Finfin. Uh, okay, so let's... And you can get rid of uh, Cheggers. It's not going to make it. <laughs> let me let me get rid of Pac-Man first, because we already discussed that, and then we can talk about Cheggers. <laughs> because we should at least show it. That is true. <laughs> um, it's my, my argument stands that it's just exactly the same as every Trivial Pursuit knockoff that got released on the 360 and the Wii U. Did they all look like this? Yes. A lot of them did, especially that font. Like, I've seen that font and all it's over Mostly because he looks yeah. like the Xbox avatar. He just yeah. looks like Colin Mokery. From, it, from it does have line. a Colin Mokery vibe it, to it, him. It, it does remind me of, like, the Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Who Wants to Beat Up a Millionaire mm-hmm. box art. Yeah. Yes, it's the it's the big head and the like the is, like is that a shower curtain. I was literally just gonna say that. It looks like he's standing in front of a shower We're curtain. In his bathroom. Oh it does. <laughs> yeah, look. There's like a tub. He's standing in the tub. Yeah. Maybe well, that's, that's the twist. Strange. Ken Chegwin. <laughs> you did not make it. It's maybe that is the twist. It's at his his a party at his house. He's not in a studio. You've been invited to a party at his house. And he's like, he Hey, something... let's do a quiz show. You wake up the next morning, you're in chains, and you have to escape. Yeah. <laughs> we need to play some of these games. We desperately need to play some of these games. So um, the problem is, like, half of these games will be awful, terrible video games that look awful. So here it is, Xenon folks. 2 Mega Blast looked pretty good for an Amiga yeah. game of its time. That's true. I'll give it that. The I didn't Arrow watch Death. gameplay, but I just looked at the stills. We're down to the tough moment. We need to talk about these four games. These are the four left. We have to cut one. <laughs> Chucky Egg's a lock, right? It's a lock. I think it's a lock. I think yeah. so. Yeah, I think it's a lock. I mean, we all know it's between Xenon 2 and Arrow of Death. Yeah. I think Arrow of Death is weirder. But I, I, it's, it, they're I'm so biased. weird, but in such different ways. 
It is difficult to compare them. Sorry, I'm getting fancy over here. Um, I think Loka Glow is a lock. Yeah, that it's just the face. It's too good. <laughs> I'm going. Mm. I think it's I'll just see. like the weird texture on the skin and the fact it's, that there's just another face down here. It it's looks a like slightly the, humanoid face. It looks like the Johnny Quest 3D world stuff from that TV <laughs> show. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. Okay, so let me let me lock Loka Glow. Yeah, round two is locked. <laughs> oh. All right. that in ages. Watched it this morning over coffee. I've been watching through Seinfeld. What is it? This Stargate. is tough. This Stargate. Is, oh, Stargate. Stargate. This is so <laughs> tough. Uh... Um, I'll be right back. Discuss. Oh, he's selling things. But now <laughs> we can't we can't adjust the list if we pick one. No. Yeah. Um... Just have to wait. I don't know. I think. I think is this I, a drug deal? Because he's might... reaching for his ouch. Um, there's a floating castle. <laughs> I think I might have to go arrow of death. Only, only because it's hand drawn. And I do love that's that just aspect of so it. strange. Everything else on here is is um, at least three D in some way, mm -hmm. but this is like clearly like very like pencil on paper and then it's they like, just it's, uploaded a picture of it it's not it. actually the easiest thing they could have done yeah. this still took some amount of work somebody yeah. had to you know sketch it and illustrate it and color I mean, it it's it's really detailed like look at the 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 flora and fauna of the yeah you know? like like that's crazy if it was really a fact of them being like rushed for time or something they could have just done some sort of like like type driven yeah and just do like a logo or something. Not to say that Quake has bad box art, but something like Quake. Yeah. Um, I, uh, my only question is, do you think I might have to make a video of this? But do you think we could track down the person who drew this? I think we could. Bro, do you think they're still alive. That was. I'm sure they're still. I mean, unless it was drawn by like an 80 an year old. old. Yeah. Which it does um, not look like it was. <laughs> Grandpapa, can you draw uh, this for me? Uh, did you have, did you try putting it into reverse image search and seeing if it pulled up like an artist's web page or something? Oh, I should. Do. I haven't done a single thing yet. <laughs> so that was what I tried to do with the two the two um, Genesis games that I bought, trying to do that cover art show, um, and reverse image search got me nowhere. Someone's on. So Brian Harworth. Oh, I found them. How are really War Dog. Here is an early picture I did way back in 1981. Freehand panel illustration. One of the few things I ever had in print. This was used as the cover of our early home computer VIC-20 adventure game software in UK. The original art is long gone, so this is a scan of the printed version. Wow. So By War Dog Guard. We have to get this person. Oh, we need it, to make Ian, we know. found the artist. We found the artist for the Arrow of Death box art. Oh my goodness. What other stuff do you have from him? Uh, we should not show any of it on the internet. <laughs> is it not safe for work? It's just a little kinky. Mm. <laughs> what is so... it? What is his name again? I didn't get it. Yeah, I I like, it where? Where is it? <laughs> where is this? <laughs> Deviant art. Don't worry, stream's not seeing this, but I'm showing it. <laughs> this no, this oh, is God. not. There's no way. It's not that bad. No, this is not the same person. Oh, there's no. Look way. at down at the bottom. No, but look, how is how is this the same? People can have different art styles over the course of a long period of time, Ian. Hey, these are way too different. I feel like it's the difference between something that was created in the 80s and something that was created now. I don't know. It's, like it's me. just going to look different. It needs to log in, but I'm, I'm looking at. Oh, OK, that's very kinky. Wow. <laughs> The audience is loving this. <laughs> no, I, I look, I, I just think this is somebody who's just uploading a bunch of different art. I don't know. They wrote all the information down. We'll have to check investigative reporting. Um, I'm on it. Start, start emailing. 
So what did you guys, what, what was your, um, I don't want to say your conclusion, but what were your thoughts about I, I think Xenon we're leaning Megaplast? towards Arrow of Death, yes? I, I think I'm leaning that way too, and here, here's why. I think this aesthetic this is a very well done image in Xenon 2 Megablast, but that is just kind of the aesthetic of that era. Like when I think about the movie Hackers, it's, Hack it's, the a, planet. it's a lot of this, you know, in a good way. And Arrow of Death is similar in a way where it's like 80s D&D theme, but it's got more unique on it compared to I the general concur. aesthetic. Arrow of Death, are we locking it? I think I think Arrow of Death is a lock, yeah. And then I... immediately get rid of it because it's not <laughs> as good as the other two. <laughs> no, we're just doing top three, right? Yeah. I thought we had to pick a... Oh, okay. Yeah. No, we, yeah, we just picked no, top three. Champion... No, that would take forever. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so here we are, folks. It is Arrow of Death, Loco Glow, and Chucky Egg 2 in no particular order. Put them on the Twitter. Oh, boy, just incredible. Beautiful. I think we had another incredible episode of the best. Um, I, I was really worried that this discussion would take a long time because... I, okay, look, I don't mean to offend you guys. I'm certainly guilty of this as well, but I feel like previous episodes, we've had 12 nominees and maybe four or five of them are valid nominees in a way, like solid nominees. This one, I feel like there was about 10 or 11 of them that were solid nominees worth considering. Oh, yeah. Wow. Just yeah. a fantastic episode. Uh, let's go to some closing thoughts. Kyle, closing thoughts on the cover art. You have a winner on here. Chucky Egg 2. How does that feel? It feels really good. I the moment I saw Chucky Egg Two on that Google search, I knew that it was gonna be it was gonna be a contender for for a winner, and I'm really glad that it, it came all the way through. And it's just so freaking weird. I love it so I like, much. I like that it's so weird that we honestly barely even discussed it. <laughs> it was just like this is this is locked, right? It's done. It yeah. was great. Uh, Wilbur's Crispers. Oh, I'm sorry, Kyle. We can find you at Kyle of the Beard on Twitter. Is that right? That's right. Uh, Will, where can we find you? And you also have a one on here, Arrow of Death. How does that feel? It feels great. Uh, I found this um, about <clears throat> six months ago while working at my old job. And when you sent us the thing about the cover art thing, I had to go dig through the files of that computer uh, that I had quick I had taken when I quit that job. Uh, and I had to go find this because uh, I could not remember the name of the game. And uh, I'm happy it's on here. I think it's great. Go play Arrow of Death, uh, Game of the Year. Uh, I'll be in contention. Uh, and you can find me on Twitter at Hunt270. Well, thank you. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Think Gibson. I don't have a winner up here. Honestly, I thought Carnage Rally would be a strong contender. I did not expect to get bodied so hard by the fantastic <laughs> nominees you guys brought. Um, it's, it's always a little odd trying to come up with topics for this because I'm basically like the the producer of this show. So I'm, I'm running the topics, etc. And uh, I'm glad we got a fantastic topic here. And we have another fantastic topic in the hopper that we're going to be running at some point in the future called Best Video Card Box. That's, that's going to come at some point. Probably not next episode. It'll come eventually. Jake, closing thoughts. You have your local Glow winner. And Will where can people you find you? Will skip me. <laughs> no, I'm in, the, I'm in order on the stream. Um, I'm happy with local Glow. That was an immediate... Like I think same with with Chucky Egg. When I saw that scrolling on pages and pages of Google searches, I'm like, <laughs> yes, that's my top pick. Wow. Um, but yeah, I, I I had at at one point my my uh, slideshow had 16 different oh my uh, box arts in it, and I had to Oof. just pare them down yeah, until um, I yeah. found a good one. I definitely felt that um, I I had so many to pick from. And in a way that made me feel good, because I feel like in previous episodes, I have struggled to find good nominees. Mm -hmm. And it it felt like no matter what I picked, I wouldn't be letting you guys down. I would definitely be bringing some weird stuff. And that felt good. You know what else feels good is subpixelfilms.com that takes you right to our YouTube page. <laughs> Speaking of weird, um, it takes you right to our YouTube page. We've got some fantastic edited videos up as well as links to all of our stream archives. Our latest video came up yesterday noon. Folks, it's another Pixel 8 banger. I'm going to toot my own horn here. Honk, honk. Fun episode to shoot. Fun episode to edit. It came out fantastic. We went to the Pennsylvania Ren Fair and had a hell of a time. 
you can go find that at subpixelfilms.com. You can also find us at Subpixel Team on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok, where you can find out about all of our upcoming projects, other projects we're following, individual projects, upcoming streams, upcoming videos, all sorts of stuff like that. Thank you guys so much for joining us. We'll see you all. Are we streaming tomorrow, Kyle? Uh, no, we're not. We are not. Uh, do you want to discuss uh, why real quick? Not yeah, I wasn't, I, wasn't sure, I wasn't sure if you were prompting me to do that or if you were going to go into it. Uh, no, we are not streaming tomorrow, mainly because tomorrow is sort of a day of uh, the LGBTQIA plus tag users who, who stream with that stuff have been getting hate rated. Uh, it's terrible. And they're sort of doing a day of solidarity of no streaming on Twitch and sort of asking Twitch for better... Uh, better responses to stuff like that and also to just bring awareness to the hate raids that keep happening so we will be joining that effort and not streaming uh, i know everyone is super disappointed that they don't get to watch me play any more assassin's creed odyssey but that will happen next wednesday so uh we will we will stand in solidarity with everyone in that community tomorrow and no streaming on twitch that's right. Um, and folks, I'm going to be out of town for a while I'm actually moving. So there's going to be no streams at all until next Thursday when I'm back on the air. Uh, you can follow us at Subpixel Team on Twitter. That'll let you know the next time we're on the air. Uh, we're usually on Thursday nights at 9 p.m. Eastern for local chat. But I know Will doesn't like to do it when I'm not here. He doesn't doesn't know how to talk, you know, without me there. It's his little sounding board. Um, but we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.